Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I am Rachel, proud creator and founder of Siopa, Seize Your Passion. I am here for our weekly live stream every Friday afternoon at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time from our Facebook group, sharing with you guys my personal thoughts for the week, my lessons for the week, what I've been thinking about, my growth for the week, on my own journey to seize my passion, to inspire and empower you guys and help you guys go out there and do the same. Um, and the best way to do that, the best way I know how to say to do that is to do more of what you love and to be more of who you love. That is what will yield the result of realizing all of your best dreams and becoming your best self, which leads me into this week's topic that I want to talk about, which is choices and consequences. Okay, so I'm going to get right to it. So, um, you know, we've all heard before the um, idea that we are in control of our own choices, right? Freedom of choice. That's what we're talking about, right? But I think there's a huge misconception here when we think about our freedom to choose what we want out of life. And there's a gap. There's a, a, a dot that's not being connected when we think about this, right? When we think of, okay, how many times have you heard, well, happiness is a choice. You just have to choose to be happy. Success is a choice. You just have to choose to be happy. Fulfillment is a choice. You have to choose to be fulfilled. That is true, but not in the way most people think, right? If I decide, if I sit back and I say, I choose to be happy, that's not going to yield the result that I want. I'm not actually going to necessarily feel the happiness, right? Just by saying, I choose happiness. I want happiness. I choose success. I want success. That doesn't magically make the success or the happiness or whatever goal we're striving for appear and manifest itself, right? And the, the dot that's missing, the bridge, the, the gap that needs to be bridged is how we think about what that really means, what that freedom of choice really means, and what the definition of choice is, and what it is that we want is, right? So here's how I'm asking you to think about what that freedom of choice means to you in order to get the results that you want, okay? Every choice has a consequence. It's a simple cause and effect, right? And yes, you have 100% freedom of your choices. I think that is one of the most amazing, beautiful, empowering, powerful, magical traits that we have as human beings. We have the freedom of choice. We have the freedom to choose how we be, what we do, how we respond, how we engage, how we live our life. That is our choice, right? But what we don't think about often enough is that every choice we make, i.e. every behavior that we take, every action from the big choices to the small choices in life, every single day, every single moment, every choice has a consequences, a consequence. Every choice has a consequence and an outcome, right? And here's the misconception. We cannot control the outcomes themselves. We cannot control the consequences. Those consequences, those outcomes take, for example, happiness, success, fulfillment, the things that who doesn't want to choose to have those things in their life, right? Take those outcomes. Those are outcomes. Success, happiness, fulfillment, take your pick, whichever one you want. You don't control the outcome, okay? External forces control the outcome, those end results. External people, factors, principles that govern how life works that you do not control. You cannot control other people. You cannot control external factors. You cannot control the challenges and the obstacles that get in your way, right? The, the outcome and the end result, the consequences, you cannot control. But you can yield the outcomes that you want by controlling your choices. Because when you understand that every choice has a consequence, you can then choose and have control over your choices, i.e. your behaviors and your actions, in a way that yields the outcomes and the consequences and the results that you want. So if you know that X behavior yields Y outcome, 
and why outcome is not the outcome you choose to have in your life, how do you change that outcome? You change it by changing the cause. You change it by changing your behavior. You change it by changing your choice of how you behave and act and be and engage and respond and live your life in order to yield the outcomes and the results and the consequences that you want. And it seems like such a subtle distinction and it is intellectually, but in practice, there's such a huge gap between those two. And that gap is the difference between people who sit back and complain about not having the life they want and playing the victim and saying, I want to be happy. I want to be successful, but you know, life just gave me a bad deal of cards, right? A bad deck of cards. I was dealt a bad deck of cards or, you know, I'm working my butt off and I'm doing all these things and I'm, 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 I'm you know, really working hard and, and my day is full and I'm busy trying to achieve the outcome that I want and I'm still not getting there because you cannot control that outcome. So change your choices, change your behaviors, change the cause of the effect. Again, every choice has a consequence, an outcome, a result. You control the choices, the behaviors, the actions, the causes. You do not control the outcomes. The way to yield and get the outcomes and the consequences and the results that you desire and, the, and that you want is that is in your power. That is your freedom of choice. And again, I think it's such a subtle distinction, but it's huge, huge in bridging that gap between what we want to achieve and actually achieving it. Bridging that gap between believing in ourselves, believing in our dreams, believing in hard work and putting in the work and then not seeing the results we want. That is the difference. Your choices, again, from the tiniest little every day, every moment choices that you make when you interact with people, when you interact with how you choose to spend your time, your, your play time, your work time, to the big key life decision choices. Those dictate the outcomes that you will yield in your life and therefore they dictate your life, right? And I, I, I can't stress this enough. It's, it's this subtle distinction, but it's such a huge gap between actually manifesting what you want and just sort of being on that spin wheel and saying, I want it, I want it, I'm working hard, I want it, but I'm not getting it, right? And, you know, for me, what is Seize Your Passion really about? It's about inspiring and empowering people to go out there and realize all of their dreams, whatever your dreams are, whatever success looks like for you, whatever living a life that's meaningful and fulfilling and happy looks like for you, go out and do it. What are your passions? What brings you alive? Go after it, pursue it, do it, right? And the other part of that is not only doing what you love, but being who you love, right? Becoming the ever evolving, ever growing student of life, right? Learning about yourself, learning about others, learning to have more compassion, more empathy, more contribution, more impact, more success, different kind of success, more growth. So what is the outcome and what is the, the cause? of those two things, right? Realizing your dreams, becoming your best self, achieving success, happiness, fulfillment, and meaning in your life, that is the outcome. The way to yield that result, I believe one of the most powerful and best ways and most fun ways is to do more of what you love and be more of who you love. That is the choice that you make. Those are the behaviors you take. That is the cause of the result of the outcome of realizing your dreams and becoming your best self, right? The cause is do more of what you love and be more of who you love so that you will then yield the result of living life to the fullest, right? With meaning, purpose, passion, and fulfillment. That and realizing all of your dreams and becoming your best self, that is the end result. The cause, the way to get there, what you have control over, your freedom of choice is every day practicing that behavior, that choice, doing more of what you love and being more of who you love. 
and I'm wearing actually, see you guys, another sample of my shirts. I don't know if you could see it. Do more of what you love. Be more of who you love. Yes. Yes, because that is the choice that you have. You have control over that. And that choice will yield the outcome and the consequences that you desire. So that's what I was thinking about this week. I got inspired for this topic. Um, hey, I see some um, names. I know a lot of you watch this post live, but it's fun. It's so fun sometimes when I see the names pop up, um, people that I know during the live broadcast. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, that's what I've been thinking about this week. Oh, I, I, I know what I was going to say. I got inspired about this sort of this lesson for this week and this growth topic for this week on how to go out there and seize your passion, become your best self and realize all of your dreams from an article that I read. Um, I believe it was an article by Benjamin Hardy on Medium. Um, and it was it was it was such an amazing article. And there were so many different points that he touched on. But this paragraph, when he touched on, you know, that every choice has a consequence and that you don't control the outcome, but rather you control your choices, your behaviors, your actions to yield the outcomes and the consequences that you want. Because the outcomes and the end results and the consequences, again, are governed by external forces. You're not in control of them. They're governed by external factors, people, principles of life. However, the choices you make every single day, big and small, the behaviors you take every single day, big and, big and small, the actions you take every single day, big and small, those you have control over. That is your freedom of choice. And you can yield the outcomes that you desire by controlling the choices you make, the actions you take and the behavior that you have every single day in your life. So for me, the biggest choice to yield the outcomes of realizing your dreams and becoming your best self and seizing your passion is by doing more of what you love. Here it is. By doing more of what you love and being more of who you love. That is a freedom of choice. That is an action and a behavior that you can take every single day to yield the outcomes of success, happiness, fulfillment, realizing your dreams, becoming your best self. You don't have control over that. You do have control over this. So do more of what you love and be more of who you love. Always. I will see you guys next week. Ciao for now. Bye.